All right, so yesterday was cycle day 18, um, and exciting thing happened in the morning. I took my basal body temperature, which I do every morning, and uh, my temperature rose. Um, so that is a sign that I did ovulate. Um, and if my temperature stays up and my cervical mucus dries out, which it has um, already, so um, yeah, so those of you that are familiar with fertility awareness method will know that uh, those are two indicators that yes, I did ovulate and um, hopefully we'll be ready to confirm that in the next um, couple days. I was a bit worried that um, I wouldn't ovulate this cycle as there has been a lot of stress with the moving and traveling around to a few different countries, um, but I'm very pleased that hopefully I've been taking care of my body well enough that it felt safe to um, ovulate this cycle, so that's exciting. Um, what else happened on day 18? Uh, we traveled to uh, across the island where we're staying in Phuket to um, a new place and we have just been uh, chilling out um, for the day and for the evening here um, eating some good food, good Thai food and this morning I made a, uh, a great smoothie with um, passion fruit, mango, banana, um, avocado and coconut cream um, and it's absolutely delicious. Something um, I know that cycle day 18 was my crossover from inner summer to inner autumn um, and one of the good things we can do for our bodies during inner autumn is to up our um, our nutrition and be conscious of our diet and what we are taking in um, because our liver plays a huge part in our hormones and um, when our liver is extra stressed during the um, last phases of our cycle, then it can make our premenstrual symptoms um, heightened or cramping when, once we get our period, things like that. I have not been doing really well with my diet while traveling. I usually try to avoid um, sugar and dairy, um, which has been great for my tender breasts. But um, in the last couple of days, I have had tender breasts because I have been eating um, dairy and sugar. So I'm trying to be conscious of that because the tender breasts only show up during my inner autumn, my premenstrual. So getting rid of some of those inflammatories in my body, um, yeah, really helpful during this, this time. So I'm trying to be more conscious um, of that on cycle day 18 to relieve some of those symptoms and hopefully um, have a easy, easier um, period uh, when it actually comes. Another sign that I know it was my crossover to inner autumn was that last night we were walking um, along the beach where there's a few shops and restaurants um, and I had made a mistake when I was speaking um, Thai to one of the women and made a mistake and my um, partner pointed it out and I felt really sensitive um, to that and I felt embarrassed and sensitive and even started to tear up where um, other points in my cycle, especially inner summer, um, I can really handle making mistakes and it's not a big deal and I can laugh it off and sort of just um, allow it to roll off my shoulder but in my inner autumn I find myself more sensitive to those things so just um, giving myself a little more compassion because mistakes happen and they're necessary for growth and movement um, and trying to remind myself of that in in my inner autumn. Um, yeah, so those are a few signs. I guess one other is actually uh, I find it a little more difficult to take care of my physical body during inner autumn. You can see my my hair is pretty greasy at the moment. I haven't showered in a few days since we've been traveling. Um, and uh, yeah, I find it more difficult to take care of myself during inner autumn as far as, um, yeah, just the simple self-care routines like showering, uh, washing my hair, um, things like that. So becoming more conscious of that as well, just 
really upping that self-care and um, taking care of my body during this time. So I will be going to get a shower um, after I'm done filming this video. Um, yeah, so uh, cycle day eight, um, 18, not eight. This is cycle day 18. Um, and yeah, so there's, it's one of the um, more intense crossover days that I feel in my cycle from the inner summer to the inner autumn, um, beginning my pre-menstrual phase. So we'll see what comes um, in the rest of my inner autumn season. So it could get a little bit more interesting <laughs> from here. So um, look out for the rest of my videos. <laughs>